legendary. Why did you manage uh, that statement about egos? What was the reason behind it? Um, it? It's very important that everyone understands that I uh, this entire fracas began with uh, uh, me uh, seeing in the media that Chimamanda DJ had uh, refused some national owners and had picked up uh, a tr traditional uh, title instead in the East at home. And I suggested that um, uh, it's, um, for me, it says a lot about Igbo presidency uh, because um, it is that, that actual seat, that presidency, that the, the region should be I am right now. Uh, I have actually clamored for Igbo presidency for a while in the last few years. I swear, you won't believe it. And um, so I said that in the light of what anybody would think, whether they care for it or not, it will pop in your mind when you hear that news. You wonder how uh, Igbo is not trying to uh, get an interim presidency. I just have managed to happen to voice it out. And people uh, took it badly that I shouldn't say that, that I had no right to say that. that it doesn't matter. That it didn't mean anything. That anybody can reject anything. I said, yes, of course, except there is a history with the country and the region. And Chimamanda is a very important person and he looks how he does. You know, if we choose to not look at that, okay. But I saw it and I noticed and I mentioned it. People went on and on and on and on and on, up until the point where I was being threatened with maiming and even death and fatality. And then I was even petitioned. And as soon as the petition was posted for Afrima, someone then came on my timeline and asked me to apologize. And then I went, what? Man, fuck the Indigo. To hell with it. Now, to hell with it. The people who cannot be described as an it. So I was referring to peddlers of the movement, people championing for the movement. It is a movement. Ah. Just because a football team is a team does not mean I would say it's, it's playing. I would say the team are not playing well or they are playing amazing. I was speaking English. I will not address people with it. To hell with it. I refer to a movement. But anyway, that was how I came about even tweeting that at all. I was already petitioned. And then I was being asked to apologize. So I was like, what? After the petition, I beg. So I... Now what does fuck it? What does it mean? It means I don't want to have anything to do with it. It's, 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 save me with it. I don't care about it. Really, that's what fuck you, fuck it mean. Fuck you means I don't care about you. Really, that's what fuck you means. The petition is hurtful, is harmful, is actually going after the person's livelihood. Fuck you is I don't care about you. It doesn't mean a lot. And. I didn't say anything that didn't happen. I didn't go online and then started assuming things about the tribe. No, I didn't. So, I think that's all I can say about that. I did not insult the tribe. I will not do that. I'm sorry to anyone who it sounded such to. That's not what I meant to do at all. I was trying to weigh in on very important matters. And if you follow my tweets, that was probably the only one time I cursed in maybe a hundred plus tweets. So I'm surprised everybody's sitting there and the analysis of my other tweets are not so popular, except that particular one. So please, it would be more amazing if more people followed my, the thread of my timeline and then so that we can um, all uh, contribute properly instead of just insulting each other. Are uh, you available for an interview for uh, research on African creative art? Yeah, I may be uh, Mr. Nas.